for the first of our four main events. Introducing first of all, in the blue corner, he hails from the Boon Choo Gym with Richard Walsh and John Wayne Parr in the corner. Let's give it up for Rex Redden. Standing across the ring, he weighed in at 64 kilos. From the stables of Roger Hilton, a man who's been busy year 2001, Kurt Finlayson. Your third man in centering referee Stefan Fox will be set for five three minute rounds under full tie rules. That is a tie, man. Well, referee Stefan Fox calling both men into the centre of the ring. Okay, boys, you know the rules. Five rounds, three minutes, full tie rules. I say, you, you stop. I will do all the talking in time. I want to see three or five Bushy boys are good. Okay, show some proper more time. We are ready to get it on over five three-minute rounds. This one to be conducted under full tie rules. Rex Redden from the Boonchu Gym, originally from New Zealand, now based here on the Gold Coast, up against Kurt Finlayson, a very busy man near 2001 from the Roger Hilton stables. And we are joined ringside by the Hurricane, Paul Briggs. Paul, you must have done some training alongside Rex Redden there at the Boonchu Gym. That How is Rex? Uh, I know for a fact he's been over to Thailand with John Wayne while he was uh, fighting on the King's birthday, so we'll soon see what he picked up over there. I think this will be a crackerjack fight. Paul, the Hurricane Briggs sitting ringside with myself, Michael Chevello, and the former Australian champion, the Hammer Mark Castanini. And we're coming at you from the Chandler Theatre here in Brisbane. Outside far kick there from Rex Redden. Redden with the black trunks. The red trunks going to Finn Layson. High left round kick there by Redden. And then that one caught on the gloves by Finn Layson. Nice lead check by Redden. Tabs him with the right hand. High left round kick from Redden. Finn Layson moves in and ties him up early in the centre of the ring. And referee Stefan Fox shouts out Ute. And time for both men to separate. We are 30 seconds down in the first round. Big right hand there from Finn Layson, Hammer. Oh, Finn oh Layson, overhand uh, elbow there from Rex Redden. Finn Layson looks uh, very, very focused indeed for this one. He's not taking uh, the former Kiwi uh, Redden lightly at all. But, uh, Rex Redden, all black shorts. Finn Layson, uh, red and white. Very strong, Kurt Finn Layson. He is a very strong fighter indeed, Kurt Finn Layson. We've already seen that here in this round. One minute five down. Well, Paul, you can see it. Actually, Hammer, I'll just say you can see a cut on the left top head there of Finn Layson. He's been cut by the elbow early on. Yeah, I think that was one of the first elbows that, uh, that, that Redding uh, threw. There you go. Yeah, yeah, a couple of stitches on the noggin there, Hammer. Certainly, Michael. Well, Paul, you know uh, a lot more about these boys, obviously, than we do, obviously, being Queensland residents now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about both the boys, Kurt. Firstly, uh, Kurt Finn Layson, he's actually um, one of my favourite fighters. He's very, very strong, got a big heart. Uh, he always comes to fight. He's, he's improved 4 million percent probably in the last two years that I've seen him since he's been going to Thailand. Um, some of the boys he's, he's fought, he's lately he's shown some really good Thai technique. I think this is going to be a, a shape up to be a really good, uh, interesting contest technique wise with both the boys. With uh, well, Kurt's actually a gold medalist from uh, the last uh, Thailand Large uh, Kings Cup, was that right? Yeah, that's Thailand? correct, with their, with their uh, amateur, amateur Muay Thai in Thailand. A nice right hand there by uh, Oh, Finn Layson moves him with a crossing elbow, ties him up with the knees, blood streaming down the left forehead of Finn Layson, just leaning red and through the ropes. On, Referee Stefan Fox will separate both men two and a quarter minutes down here in the first round of action. Snappy jab right hand there from Finn Layson. High right round kick, it was there by Rex Redden, crossing elbow by Finn Layson off the right. Rex Redden uh, from Boonchu, Jim on the Gold Coast, down there Broad Beach. What's his uh, training and prep been like, Paul? Do you know much about uh, that? It's been really good. Like I said, he's been in Thailand uh, uh, training uh, at uh, Sang Ten Noise Gym uh, with uh, John Wayne Parr while John Wayne was uh, over there training and fighting in the, in the King's birthday. Um, Beautiful four-punch combination, final with the elbow there from Finn Layson. He's very fit. Oh, he takes him with the high right round kick. Here comes Rex Redden. Well, the crushing Kiwi caught him with the high right round kick, smack bang on the forehead. And there's the end of the first round of action, Hammer. What a corker. Well, what an absolute corker with uh, Finlayson just uh, getting caught with a bit of a right elbow there by uh, Rex Redden's right elbow. So, uh, but an even round. Take that one away and it's an even round. Paul, we're just going to ask you a couple of little questions now. 
San, Fris San Francisco, 10th of November, you fought. Yeah, How was that uh, fight? And who was your opponent? Tell uh, us a little bit about that one. It was an awesome fight. I fought in front of a sellout crowd and in front of 10,000 people at, um, in San Francisco. It's a beautiful city. I, I knocked out James Green. He's an up-and-coming boxer over there uh, in the third round and uh, secured a, basically a three-year deal with uh, Don Chaga and Oscar De La Hoya's promoter. That's a wild card, Jim. Fred Roach is your trainer yeah, out there. How does, it, how does the, uh, the training differ over there from what you've been doing here in Australia? Uh, in America, they do uh, lots of sparring. Their sparring is just like a fight. So their, their training consists of majority of sparring and, and pad work. Yeah. It's funny, actually, that the, a lot of American boxers don't believe in running too much, which, um, which I found really, really strange because that's what gives you the, sp the stamina, especially when you're fighting 10 to 12 rounds, you know. What the last uh, three or four rounds is what really gives you the stamina to push What about through. the skipping? Do they replace that with skipping or no? Uh, uh, they, do, they do probably 10, 15 minutes skipping at the end of a session. Jeez, but, um, that's a lot. Yeah, the majority of their training is done with sparring. That's why I think they have a lot of their... A lot of uh, head damage through a lot of the boxers' careers. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think sparring is really good and uh, it's good to sharpen you up, but uh, too much of it, is, it you know, isn't too good. Not necessary. Well, you've got a fight at end of January in LA. Yeah, yeah. I'm fighting for the NABO uh, light heavyweight title, which will put me in the top ten of the world in LA, and then I come back and fight uh, Peter Karaoke from. Uh, from uh, Africa, I think he is, uh, uh, on the Gold Coast, February 8th. February 8th, back here in Australia. But uh, all the best for that one uh, end of Jan uh, and uh, in LA. Get yes. a bit of a suntan while you're fighting over there, mate. That'll be great. Yeah, it'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Comments there from the Hurricane Paul Griggs. He is on his way to the top of the world. Ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini and myself, Michael Chavello. We are into the second round of Rex Red and up against Kurt Finlayson. It was a cracker in the first. Finlayson has been cut open. Top of the left-hand side of the head. And the matted blood in the hair of Finn Mason. And you can expect Redden to go to work with those elbows again here in the second stanza. Rex Redding coming on very strong with his kick. He's shaped, shaping up to be exactly what I thought it would with these two boxes. Very, very powerful contest and a good technical contest as well. As Finn Mason tries to back Redden into the corner, Redden gets out of the way of danger, backing himself against the rope now. Goes downstairs, nice rib kick there from Redden to the right rib cage. Tagging left hand, followed by the right there from Finn Layson. Overhand elbow it was, didn't quite find the mark there from Rex Redden. We were saying earlier, Paul, when uh, you're fighting under full tie rules, knees and elbows, it really is a whole new dimension to, uh, to the fight game. It becomes more like a game of chess, you know, with a very experienced or a very technical fighter. You can't afford to make a mistake or leave an opening, especially with those elbows, or the knees to the head as well because well, they, can, they can change the direction of a fight very quickly. Recently, uh, we've seen the comeback to uh, Thai boxing of, uh, of John Wayne Parr, and obviously uh, I read uh, and spoke to, uh, to uh, John Wayne Parr recently, and he said, uh, really, in close, you have a whole, uh, a whole new target area when you're uh, tied up with your opponent, but uh, that also leads itself to a lot more damage. All right, very aggressive second round, and Kurt Finn Layson just dumping Rex Red into the canvas with a shebang. Finlayson moves in again, good lead check there from Redden. Left hook there from Finlayson. Redden goes to the outside, left thigh, step up front kick to the midsection there from Finlayson. Snappy jab caught on the gloves by Redden. Crossing overhand elbow attempted there from Rex Redden, didn't quite come off for him. They're all tied up with nowhere to go in the centre of the ring. Stefan Fox kept a close eye on proceedings, needed the midsection there from Finlayson. Redden just turns him around, needed the right rib cage. And Finlayson responds to a couple on the inside thighs and they all break up. Do you miss it, Paul? Do you miss the Muay Thai? Are you enjoying the boxing too much? I enjoy the boxing because boxing is my first love, but I, I, I do miss the Muay Thai. I really do. <laughs> Step up front kick there from Finlayson. Snappy jab trying to get through the defences of Rex Redden. Tagged him with an outside thigh kick to that right thigh. And we are two and a half minutes down here in the second round. Crossing elbow there by Finlayson. Couldn't get through the tight guard of Redden. And again, off the left. Well, Paul, I've got to ask you about uh, Anthony Mundine. You're still uh, gunning for a shot at him? Uh, I think he sort of proved... Uh, he proved me right. You know, the guys... Uh, he, there's no shortcuts in life with anything. You know, you've got to take your time. You've got to be patient. Crossing and, um, elbow, round kick combination there by Kurt Finlayson. And it just proved that he's not, he's not up there yet. Shut up, Shut up. Comments from the Hurricane Paul Griggs, who I dare say is going to go to much greater heights than Mundine could ever imagine in the game of boxing. Definitely. 
Oh, leaping knee there from Rex Renan. Just ties up Finn Lason against the rope. Stefan Fox getting a close eye on proceedings. End of the second round. Hammer, how do you see it so far? Well, this one is really a game of ultimate strategy. Both boys negating and answering uh, each other's uh, strikes respectively. Rex Redden landing some good shots on, uh, on Finn Lason, but uh, Kurt is very strong in the grapple. He's landed some good knee strikes. No clean elbows landing really in this one. And uh, I'd almost score that one even. Paul, how did, uh, how did you score that one? I'd actually tend to lean a little bit more towards uh, Finlayson. He's shown some really good defensive uh, technique in the grapple. Just, uh, nullifying a lot of uh, Rex Redding's knees. And um, just basically showing that he's a, he's a slightly stronger fighter. Although Rex is going to be there till the end. So I'll say that, I'll say that round I'd, I'd have to lean towards Finlayson. This, one, uh, this one's going real close. That was a good dump actually. Uh, looking, looking at that one on replay. With uh, Finlayson, he got to score the uh, the takedown. He did uh, execute that one very nicely indeed. And uh, as you said, you're uh, you're correct there. He's very uh, very strong in the grapple. And uh, you see Finlayson just negating uh, what Red was uh, putting on him. Finlayson looking very um, composed in the corner. Well, Kurt's been around the block more than a couple of times. Especially, uh, as I said, in 2001, a very busy year for Finlayson and uh, coming out with that gold medal. Rex looking great too, actually, in the corner. They've got a bit of ice on his legs, but um, John Wayne Parsons seems to have a smile on his face, which could only mean uh, good things for Rex. Well, the crowd here, a great crowd on hand at the Chandler Theatre, certainly enjoying themselves in the full Muay Thai action. Brought to you by Scotty Bannon, Ian Jacobs and Paul Demacoli, a three-way promotional gig up here. And they are going to bring the house down in the two main events. Referee Stefan Fox about to get us underway in round number three. It has been a close one, as the Hammer and Paul Briggs have said. Maybe one round apiece at the moment. The corner of Kurt Van Lason really taking a good look at that deep cut. You can have a look now as I've wiped the butt away, Hammer, just how deep that cut is on top of the left-hand side of the head of Kurt Van Lason. Well, they'll have to uh, put a couple of stitches in that one. Luckily, it's very high on top of the head, so it's not going to bother him too much, unless Rex uh, decides to start working it. Or oh, unless he shaves his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to require more stitches than a well-tailored suit, that's for sure. Outside thigh kick there by Finlayson. Redden moves forward again. Goes the round kick to the rib cage. Inside thigh kick there from Finlayson. Redden moving forward, a little bit haphazardly on that occasion, and Finlayson tagged him. Nice one, two, followed by the round kick from Finlayson. Beautiful defensive front kick. Capitalising on all of Rex's uh, mistakes that he's making, Curtis. He certainly is. He's getting those uh, kicks into the gaps nicely, Kurt Finlayson now. Putting in that uh, lead leg very quickly. Snappy handwork as well. Nice right hand just tagged in there from Rex Redden. Then the knee to the left rib cage. Finlayson turns him around. The man with the Kosamui WMC shorts. They all tied up like a pretzel in the blue corner. And Stefan Fox separates both men. One minute down in the third round of action. What a tough contest, Briggsy. I think if I was Rex, I'd be looking at, yeah, doing exactly that, using his kicks and his range a lot more, keeping uh, Kurt on the outside. Yeah. Pretty and if they come matched. in using the elbows. They're pretty evenly matched for height. Very reach, evenly matched, and, and for ability too. <laughs> Kurt Finlayson, he goes that uh, left, right, left, right elbow. He puts, it in, he puts it together well. Beautiful left hook there by uh, Rex Redden. Redden moves forward again, just tying him up, trying to snake those hands around the back of the neck of Finlayson. Jumping right knee to the ribs there from Rex Redden. Finlayson's got him all tied up now. Redden trying to accentuate the grapple. Oh, sort of back elbowing close there from Kurt Finlayson. Knee to the midsection from Redden. And smothering the hands across the front of the face of Finlayson is Redden. Knee the man giving an inch here on the third round, Hammer. Well, both boys, both boys stepping it right up now. Third round, fourth round, you're going to really see him put the foot on the uh, throttle. I think Rex really hurt uh, Finlayson with that left hook. It, 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 Finlayson stayed in the grapple and then all this power seemed to go out of his knees. So I think he's all right now, but he definitely rattled him with that left hook. Start seeing a bit of elbow work here. Subtle leg check there from Redden. Redden goes to the upper rib cage with a round kick off the left. Snappy jab right hand there from Finlayson. Front kick to the midsection. High left round kick from Finlayson. Sweeping leg kick from Finlayson. Finlayson raking up the points on the judges' scorecards, that's for sure. And Blatter Gang standing the string from that cut on top of the head. In tight elbow, in close elbow there from Finlayson. As uh, Redden's got his arm caught under the uh, the left armpit of Finlayson. Finlayson will uh, roll that uh, right elbow around if he gets the opportunity. It is another great event brought to you by Buell American Motorcycles. 
And I tell you what, these two men are absolute Muay Thai machines in centering Paul Briggs. Rex Redding actually coming on very strong now. I think some of his shots are starting to take their toll on uh, Kurt Finlayson. His hooks, his left hook's working well for him, uh, it's, Redden. It's working a treat. Uh, Kurt keeps dropping that right hand. Old crossing elbow there from Finlayson came close, but no cigar. Yep. A round kick of the ribcage to end the third round. How do you see it, Hammer? Well, I'd say Finlayson started that uh, that round uh, well. Redden brought it on strongly towards the end. Again, uh, could go either way. I might lean a little bit the way of Finlayson for that round. Paul, your call. Um, I'm actually... <laughs> we'll go opposite, to, won't we? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go the other way. I think, actually, Finlayson came on, like you said, very, very strong with that round, but I think um, Rex Redding is actually uh, bringing home the goods. I think you'll see a very strong round out of uh, out of Rex with this this next coming round. I think he hurt Finlayson really bad with that left hook in the last round. Come on, Will. Everything you've got is fourth round. Don't be too careful. You should be trying for fourth round. Looking right. a little bit worse for wear there. Good. Loose my arms. You can see that cut on the top left hand on, side on. of the head of Kurt Finlayson. Gotta go to work with this one, mate. You push it hard, you can do it. Once again, we'll just have a look at uh, some of the action from that round. There's a nice tidy in, a knee there from Redden. Finlayson with a backward elbow, trying to uh, take the jaw of uh, Redden. Working in close, you see the, the fighters snaking their arms through, trying to get an opening so they can roll around house elbow to the jaw or to the face of each other, but uh, nothing coming there. In tight, it's all knee work. But uh, geez, what a torrent affair and a real game of chess this one is turning out to be. I have to say, it's just awesome the standard at the moment of the Muay Thai, considering uh, when I was fighting. It's come a long way. Well, certainly uh, all fighters stepping up peg. But uh, take nothing away from the hardness, mate. There's always uh, that brut uh, brutality, I suppose, uh, to the fighting uh, that you uh, you see right here in centre ring. Techniques refined, but the uh, the damage has always been the same. That cut's looking bad on uh, Kurt Finlayson's head. Rex Redding giving me the nod, actually, as he was looking <laughs> down, looking very uh, very keen, and uh, this is going to be a top round. Well, will Redding go after that cut, that big cut on top of the noggin of Kurt Finlayson and try and cut him wide open? Round kick to the ribs to start proceedings here for Redden. Redden moves forward, overhand right, round kick combination. He started up like a house on fire. Snappy jab there from Finlayson, uppercut got in. Good leg check there from Redden. Just wears a nice snappy jab, rocking his head back. Crossing elbow from Finlayson, didn't quite get through the guard. Tries for that long reaching uppercut. Round kick just sneaking on the left armpit there from Redden. Another solid leg check from Redden. His defense is looking good here tonight. Round kick to the right ribcage there from Redden. Nice one too from Finlayson. Interesting to see Finlayson's tactics uh, changing a little now. He's not grappling uh, nearly as much. He would have uh, grabbed uh, Redden and tied him up uh, if it was in the oh, the hand elbow there from Rexy Redden. Very good elbow. I think that, that hurt Kurt badly. Redden uh, is actually looking to be uh, fired up in this one. He looks to be uh, full of energy looks coming like, up to the fourth. Looks like all the training did in Thailand is starting to pay off now. He's coming home strong. Redden just ties him up, picks him up off his feet and dumps him to the canvas like a rag doll. We are one minute ten down here in this round. Flood again streaming from that cut from the overhand elbow of Rex Redden. Rex's kicks are starting to work a treat now. Like I said before, that would be the best game plan he could use. He's starting to do that. It's oh, really nice round for the game as the Hurricane called it to the right ribcage of Finlayson. A beautiful tagging left hand smack bang on the kisser. Well, Redden now starting to get his rage. Yeah, oh, nice big uppercut from Rex Redden rocked his head back. Well, he'll be eating out of the back of his head after that one. Kurt Finlayson all tied up in front of our commentary yeah, position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, boys. Come on. Rex Redden's really starting to use his reach and uh, his uh, range nicely now, Paul. Rex Redden is picking him off systematically, methodically taking apart yeah, Kurt Finlayson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kurt Finlayson really feeling it now. Rex is coming on very strong. I think Kurt Finlayson's uh, game plan has just gone out the window. He stopped. He's thinking too much about what's coming instead of just fighting. Right hand didn't get through the double forearm guard of Rex Redden. Not enough snatch behind the round kick to do any real damage. One-two round kick combination there from Kurt Finlayson. Well, that was a nicer, nicer combo there from Finlayson. Rolling the, uh, the round kick nicely to the top of the thigh of, uh, of Redden. But Redden stalking forward, the more aggressive oh, of the two. Double round kick left hook combination there from Rex Redden. What a treat to watch. Finlayson's going to have to keep that left hand up. We can see a right elbow coming right over the top. 
Comments from the Hurricane Paul Briggs ringside with the former Australian champion, the Hammer Mark Castanini and myself, Michael Chavello. He moves in again with the knee to the midsection, does Rex Red and Red and all over him like a rash. High left round kick, got much in front kick there from Finlayson. Interesting to see uh, Finlayson not throwing as many elbows as I thought he would, uh, Paul. He's, not, he's choosing not to get into an elbow battle with Redden, and that was certainly uh, Redden's round. Yeah, just the more aggressive and uh, piled up a, a, a bulk of uh, points in that one, Paul. With elbows, you really got to pick your shot with them because you can leave yourself open uh, very much so if you miss. So I think Rex is doing a beautiful job with the elbows, whereas um, Kurt Finlayson is just—he's a very strong fighter. And I think he's, he's trying to uh, depend too much on his strength rather than uh, thinking as the rounds get on. Well, Finlayson uh, looking to be in a bit of bother in his corner there. He's been cut under his right eye. There's a big right round elbow just glancing the side of the jaw of Finlayson. I think that really hurt Kurt, that one. Finlayson looking a bit bit worse for wear in the corner there. He certainly is. Once again, we have a look uh, in the grapple. Finlayson is a very strongly built fighter though, Kurt. So we have a look at that cut under the right eye of Kurt Finlayson. They're uh, putting in a bit of vast, a bit of adrenaline to try and uh, stop the bleeding there. That is a nasty cut, and he's certainly going to impede the vision out of his right eye. And therefore, anything coming off the left side of Rex Red, Kurt's going to be a little bit uh, doubted to see. Okay, you can do it. Be careful how you do it, that's all. Kurt Finlayson also uh, sustained an injury to his right hand. That's uh, something that's been uh, pointed out ringside. So Kurt is in a bit of bother, a lot of bother. Kurt's in a lot of bother. He stated to Roger, Roger Hilton here, is it? I don't want to dog it. Now, isn't that a, uh, well, that isn't that a tough statement from a tough man? That's a true fighter. I mean, that's that, that's what it's all about. He's here. He's going to put on a show for the people. He's going to take it the distance. And, you know, these guys sitting up the back there who may be mocking him don't realise how strong and how much uh, well, personal fortitude these guys have. Here we go in the fifth round of action. It has been Rex Redden so far. Kurt finlayson has got more fucks than a butcher. But he is still here in the fifth round. Nice one-two smack bang on the kisser and the front kick from Finlayson. High left round kick from Rex Redden. Can Finlayson pull a rabbit out of the proverbial hat? High right round kick from a look around the back of the neck there was Redden. Redden just smiles at him. Overhand elbow round kick from Redden. Finlayson will not give up. Takes another smack bang in left hand to the jaw. It's just Round a kick bit, by Redden. It's just a little bit open with his guard, Finlayson. Paul, is that uh, perhaps going to uh, be an accountability, accountability to all the uh, damage that he's sustaining? I oh, definitely could lose him the fight in the last round. I mean, this is why I love Kurt Finlayson so much. He's all heart. He'll keep fighting till the end. But um, these are the rounds that matter. This is what they call the championship rounds, the last round. So these are the ones that matter. This is when you've got to concentrate on his technique. Not Round kick to the right rib cage there from Rex Redden, being his best weapon of the fight so far, along with those blistering elbows. Crossing elbow caught on the forearms there. Redden moves in again with a round kick off the rear leg. Tags him with the left hand, a left round kick off the lead leg to the rib cage. One to the rib cage there from Finlayson, and they're trading round kicks. Overhand right planted in. Finlayson trying to get his way through there, crossing left elbow, round kick again to that right rib cage of Finlayson. Well, Finlayson he's been caught all throughout the fight, Hammer. You can see he's really not throwing his right hand while he's pulling that one right up. So he must be in a bit of pain there. He's using his right elbow, but obviously his right hand's uh, been thrown out of whack, so he's uh, relying on his left and his right elbow only, basically taking uh, one weapon out of this fight. Snappy it's jab there from Finlayson, Paul. It's a true champion fighting here. So a guy fighting with an injury. I mean, it's so hard being in there and just getting hurt and still going, let alone carrying an injury, injury as well. Kurt Finlayson is all guts and intestinal fortitude. The adrenaline pumping in Santorin. Rex Redden ties him up, tags him with a short right hand in the grapple. Sepho Fox separates both men. We are one minute 45 down here in the final round of action. Taking absolutely nothing away from Rex Redden though. He's putting on an awesome performance here. Oh, Redden's just an absolute machine. Oh, crossing elbow. Rounds. That was a nice elbow. I think that landed. Finlayson trying to line him up for the good night, Irene, but a night not cut. Round kick to the ribs again. That right rib cage, that red and right rib cage of Kurt Finlayson. Inside side kick by Finlayson. Round kick to the ribs on the left there from Rex Redden. Rex Redden, a very strong 
left side defence. He, he brings up that wall of defence nicely. Every time Kurt throws a right round kick or anything uh, around that right side, Redden's got that solid wall of defence on the left side. Good leg check there from Redden. We are into the final minute now of the final round of action. Defensive front kick by Finlayson. Redden ties him up. I know there's something John Wayne Park teaches all his, all his students is that wall. If they're coming in, you just lift that wall and there's nothing you can do. Build a wall of defence. It runs from your glove down to your ankle. Basically, you, you, you cock your leg up, cock your elbow down, and there's a wall of defence. And that is something that uh, Redden is really applying well. Crossing elbow by Finlayson. There it is. At the end of the fifth and final round. Paul the Hurricane and now unofficial scorecards. You've got to give it to Rex Redden, but take nothing away from a very brave Kurt Finlayson. Well, a very brave Finlayson, Paul. I'd say uh, definitely Rex Redding. Uh, Kurt Finlayson, like I said, he's one of my favourite fighters. He's all heart. I think if he hadn't hurt his right hand, it might have been a different story, but taking nothing away from Rex, he's... Uh... It's Rex Redding, not Redding Rex. <laughs> Jane one, John Wayne, the best fighter in Australia. Hi, He's got a big future, Rex Redding. Well, Paul, thank you uh, very much for joining us. It's been uh, truly special having you uh, sit in on the fight and an honour for me. And uh, all the best, mate, uh, for the uh, 2002 year up-and-coming events. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to get uh, ringside to a couple of them and I uh, wish you all the best, mate. Thanks a lot. It's been great, uh, my uh, commentating debut. I've loved it. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot for having me. Hopefully we'll do it again. Awesome. Once again, we see uh, Redden, big right round elbow, crashing down, just glancing once again off the side uh, of the face of uh, Finlayson. But Redden really switched on in that last round. See Kurt Finlayson, a little, little uh, tight there with that right round elbow. So they really traded uh, some big blows uh, in the last round, these two boys. Let it all go. Kurt Finlayson fighting with a, uh, a very damaged right hand, we're now told. So, uh, you know, that's all hard for him. There's a cut to the top of uh, Finlayson's head. That's going to need stitches. His hand's going to need some uh, immediate attention. That man on screen there, Kurt Finlayson, has a heart as big as Farlap. And uh, what an absolute warrior he is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. The first judge's scorecard reads 48-49 to the red corner. The second judge's scorecard reads 49-47 to the blue corner. The final scorecard reads 50 48, a split decision going to the blue corner, Rex Redder. And let's give a round of applause for Kurt Finlayson. <laughs> Kurt Finlayson coming out in that final round with a very badly damaged right hand. But let's give it up for Rex Redder and those cutting elbows.